Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and if you enjoy the content, please leave a like, as it greatly supports the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss out on future videos like this one, and make sure to watch until the end, you'll be amazed. The good old days always seemed better when we looked back. We couldn't help but think that everything was somehow bigger and more impressive than its modern counterparts. So, if you took a few steps back and delved deep into prehistoric times, you'd find that it was indeed the case. In fact, not only was the grass greener, but it was also taller, and the air was thicker too. Some of the insects flying between the tall trees and the creepy crawlies in the grass below seemed so terrifying that they would easily petrify any modern person. Today's list features exactly those kinds of monsters that would send shivers down anyone's spine quickly. Get ready, because in today's video, you'll discover dragonflies the size of an eagle, mayflies the size of pigeons, millipedes the size of cars, scorpions the size of dogs, and all these incredible creatures actually inhabited our planet. Indeed, they flew, ran, and crawled across all sorts of prehistoric landscapes. This first insect on our list doesn't instill horror in modern people like many spiders do. We're talking about dragonflies. After all, they're not scary. On the contrary, many consider them beautiful and even cute, almost like butterflies. We love butterflies, don't we? But in prehistoric times, the earth was teeming with dragonflies that seemed more than just unpleasant. Some of them would make you run without a second thought. Introducing the Mega Neuroptera, a whole suborder of ancient winged flying insects. The wingspan of some species could reach one meter and three feet. This is what a Mega Neuroptera dragonfly looks like. The Meganeurid dragonflies, also known as Meganeuronids, are fascinating prehistoric creatures that inhabited the Earth millions of years ago. These impressive insects are remarkable not only for their exceptional size, but also for their anatomical structure and lifestyle. With wings that could reach spans of up to 75 centimeters, Meganeurid dragonflies were true giants in the world of insects. Their wings were incredibly efficient for flying, allowing them to explore vast areas of habitat in search of prey. With their sharp mandibles and huge eyes, these formidable predators were masters of hunting in the aquatic and terrestrial environments they inhabited. Although they disappeared from the earth long ago, Meganeurid dragonflies left an impressive legacy. Their fossils provide scientists with important insights into the life and environment of the Paleozoic era. By studying these giants of the past, researchers can better understand the evolution of insects and how environmental changes influence their diversity and distribution over time. Despite their extinction, the legacy of Meganeurid dragonflies lives on through their impact on our understanding of Earth's natural history. These incredible prehistoric insects continue to inspire curiosity and admiration, reminding us of the rich diversity of life forms that have inhabited our planet over millennia. These creatures were highly adapted to Paleozoic tropical forests, unlike modern dragonflies. Meganeura spent its larval stage on land rather than in the water. What did these terrifying creatures eat to grow so large? They weren't sipping flower nectar like some people might think. After all, even modern dragonflies are predators, not to mention monsters like Meganeura, which actually ate their own kind, other insects. Moreover, most of Meganeura's menu consisted of the Dictyogenidae family. Modern dragonfly species are so resilient that their larvae are also predators, consuming aquatic insect larvae. So, it's safe to assume that Meganeura larvae weren't vegan either. Presumably, they even dined on tadpoles of the talking star, which was an ancient ancestor of modern amphibians. Overall, Meganeura's vital functions were quite impressive. 
The easiest way to understand its scale is to compare ancient dragonflies to their modern counterparts and in other insects. Here, you need to understand that insects have incredibly powerful and efficient muscles relative to their size compared to other types of animals. If humans had the same muscular capacity as ants, for example, we could run at speeds of 60 kilometers per hour and lift trucks loaded with two metric tons with our bare hands. Equipped with wings and muscles similar to those of dragonflies, a person would also have the ability to fly and maneuver. But everything in this world has its price. In particular, such powerful muscles require a huge amount of biological fuel or food. And the Paleozoic creatures that inhabited our planet were far from an exception. However, Meganura had a significant advantage over other meganinsects of its time. While many of its prey were as large as they were, Meganura was an active hunter, not an opportunistic predator like spiders. So, how did Meganura capture its prey? Some of them were slightly different from other flying creatures. For example, many scientists argue that Meganura were good pursuers. Instead of waiting for their prey to come close, they would chase it tirelessly, waiting for the right moment to strike. Meganura's massive size and powerful jaws allowed it to devour almost anything it caught in its path. But then, what really happened to these giant dragonflies of the past? Why don't they fly around nowadays? The answer is quite simple. Meganura is gone. It wasn't killed by some natural catastrophe or human intervention. Although if it were, it wouldn't be surprising. Instead, the real reason for its extinction was lack of food. However, its memory still lives on in our hearts and minds. Even after millions of years, Meganura's reign of terror still haunts the human imagination. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, share it with your friends so we can continue to grow. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our amazing videos. Until next time.